Brakes are pressing. Minus 30 seconds. T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Terminal account is aborted. Copy. Moving into terminal account abort. PC verify the idle sequence has aborted and verify the flight computer is not in startup. Verified. TCVC monitor and reactivate fire exit if necessary. Standing by. OSM, will you verify your radio safety FTS? OSM on the countdown net, verify you're ready to safety FTS. It's OSM on the countdown, ready to safety FTS. Copy. VC, did you copy? Copy that, safing FTS. GC prop, AVI, LC, are you ready for strong back raise? Prop's ready. AVI's ready. LC, are you ready for strong back raise? Yes. OSM set launch enable to inhibit. Inhibit. Raising the strong back. DC, verify engine pre valves are closed, ox bleed valves are open. Verify. Stage one and stage two tanks are pressed. As you can see, we've experienced a shutdown after ignition of the nine Merlin rocket engines on the first stage. Now in these situations, the vehicle and the ground systems are placed into a safe mode. Our launch team right now is taking a look at the data that we gathered just before uh, liftoff. Now engine shutdown is one of the safety features in the Falcon 9. As we have talked about in the past, the ability to hold the vehicle and make sure all nine engines are up and running in nominal condition is one of the reliability features that we've got. So in this case, the flight computer looked at the telemetry off of the engines and decided it was not ready time to commit to liftoff. So we have currently held the countdown. We're gonna go back to the countdown, uh, look at the uh, vehicle on the pad. We'll come back to you as we've got some more information for right now. The team is going through their safing procedures. This is part of the standard that some of you may have watched with us in earlier Falcon 9 missions and Falcon 1 even years ago. So with that, let's go back to a view on the pad and we'll come back to you when we've got some more information.